The Leopard 2 main battle tank has been in service with the German armed forces since the 1980s. Its key assets, protection, firepower and availability have been upgraded continuously to meet changing mission profiles while retaining the superior mobility of the Leopard 2. The Leopard 2 thus remains the number one battle tank in its class to this day. Eleven nations, Germany, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Sweden, Spain, Greece, Austria, Denmark, Norway, Poland and Finland have fielded the Leopard 2 which can therefore rightfully be called the Euro Leopard 2. From the northernmost point of Sweden to the south of Spain, the Leopard 2 is proving its value in the tough day-to-day -day service use of the land forces in differing climatic and terrain conditions. including multinational peacekeeping missions. The Leopard 2 owes its enormous tactical cross-country mobility and high speed to its power pack delivering 1,100 kilowatts and the excellently tuned suspension system. Ditches up to three meters wide, obstacles more than one meter high, Fording to 1 meter 20. Deep fording to 2.25 meters. And even driving underwater to a depth of 4 meters present no problem for the Leopard 2. With its modular protection system and the armor technology used, the Leopard 2 has maintained its leading position, even in the current threat environment. The new turret and hull armor protects the crew and ammunition against all known anti-tank weapons and even against top attacks by bomblets. The all-electric gun turret drive offers decisive advantages in terms of protection, performance, noise development, energy consumption and reliability. An auxiliary power unit supplies it with energy while the main power pack is switched off. A combined NBC protection and ventilation system provides the crew with full NBC protection without any ergonomic restrictions. A cooling system ensures the fighting efficiency of crew and weapon system under hot climatic conditions. Its smoke discharge system allows the Leopard 2 to make itself invisible to the enemy within a matter of seconds. Enormous firepower and high hit accuracy with the 120 millimeter smooth bore gun. With the new L55 gun and the equally new upgraded KE ammunition, penetrating power can be distinctly enhanced without changing the caliber, especially also against the most advanced armor configurations and with stable and superior hit performance. On top of the KE ammunition, MZ multipurpose ammunition, as well as further types of ammunition of this caliber, effectively meet the threat of today and tomorrow. The stabilized gunner's primary sight features a powerful day sight, a thermal imager, and a laser rangefinder. The fully stabilized commander's periscope is also fitted with a thermal imager. Both sites permit target observation and engagement by day and night and in any weather condition. The commander thus has the capability under all conditions to either fire himself or, as in the hunter killer function, carry out panoramic surveillance while the gunner engages the targets. The fire control computer processes the ammunition, gun and turret data as well as target data and environmental influences and in conjunction with the electric gun slaving system ensures a high hit accuracy even in moving tank to moving target engagement situations. The integrated modular tank command and control system TCCS permits an unmatched level of fightability in combined arms operations.
a rear-mounted TV camera allows the driver to back up under armor without requiring any assistance from the commander. Components can be replaced within a minimum of time. For instance, it takes less than 15 minutes to replace the complete power pack, even under battlefield conditions. A variety of training and simulation equipment is available for effective and low-cost crew and maintenance personnel training. High firepower with a maximum hit probability. Extraordinary mobility and comprehensive protection. The most advanced command and control technology and outstanding availability enable the MBT Leopard 2 to play its role as the main weapon of modern armored units without any restrictions well into the 21st century.